So I'm going to show you step by step how to set up a Google form that you can use as a quiz or assignment that will auto correct. First thing that you need to do is you need to set up your quiz or you need to set up your actual Google form. So to do this, if you go to your drive, your Google drive and go to new, and you should find Google Forms somewhere in that list and we'll bring up a new Google Form and this is an untitled form. So when you have this Google Form set up you need to change your form name, give your form a title and we'll call this sample and we'll give the form a description. Now that we have a name to our quiz or a name to our form and we have a description in, we can start our questions. Now we want this to auto-correct, so we need to be able to capture certain information. So the first two questions are just to capture information. So the first question you're going to ask is, please enter your name. This will allow you to capture the student's name so you know who has actually submitted the test or the assignment. And you can put in some help, so for example, e.g. Mary Murphy. Now we can have a multiple choice question and in this case we're going to change it to a text question and we're going to make this a required question and then we're going to say done. By making it a required question means that the learner has to actually enter their name. Now we're going to add another question and we're going to say please enter your email and we will also give them some help text and we make this text as well and it is a required question. So now what we have done is we have captured the learner's name and we've captured the learner's email address so we can easily identify the learner and then we can all also automatically email them the results to the quiz or the test. But let's set up some test questions. So we will put in another item and we will say this is a test question and help on the text, please select from the choice below. And they could pick A, they could pick B, or they could pick C. We'll make this a required question and we'll say done. And you'll see that this second question has now appeared here. Now we can copy this question and we can say this is test question two. Again, everything has been copied and we can select done and a test question two is in. Now there's a lot of other things you can do with this form when you're building this form or this quiz. You can easily change the team. You see when you're setting up the actual questions you have the choice to go to another page based on the answer so if you wish to give feedback based on the answers you can go to another page to give the feedback. There's advanced settings in here so you can shuffle the option orders. We may tick that. You can also insert other items such as page breaks, images and videos, section headers and so forth. You can in insert times and dates and grids and scales. So there's a lot you can actually do with this forms but the aim of this tutorial is to show you how to set up an auto-correcting quiz, not to show you how to build an actual form. Now for an auto-correcting for a quiz, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to set up an answer key. So we're going to go to our live form, we're going to view the live form here. This is a sample now of our live form. So let's put in some test answers. The first thing we'll do is we'll set up the answer key. So we're going to use the name answer. So we know that this is our answer key and this is just going to be the email address and the this time because it's the answer key what you need to do is you need to select the correct answers so we'd say A is the correct answer in this case and B is the correct answer in this place so now you have actually set up an answer key now we're going to put in some test students so let's say that this is Mary Murphy and her email address is and she's going to select A and she's going to select A in this one as well. So she, we know she's got one right and one wrong. And submit. And let's submit another response. And we will select C and we will select A and we will press submit. 
So what we've done now is we've actually submitted three answers. We've submitted a an answer key and two test students. So we're going to close out of this form now and we're going to go back to our Google Forms and in our Google Forms we can see now we have three responses and what we can do is we can go in and we can view our responses and when we view our responses it brings us up this spreadsheet and this is Google Sheets and this is where the magic actually happens for auto-correcting the assignment or the quiz. Now what you can see that has brought in is the timestamp, it's brought in the questions up the top and it's brought in the answers. So we can see that Mary Murphy selected A and A and that I selected C and A. So I haven't got any right. So let's have a look at how we actually auto correct this and what we do. So what you need to do is you need to go to add-ons. Now I've already installed Flubberoo but if you want to look for it, it's get add-ons and you'd be brought up with this add-on screen. You can see Flubrew is just here, but if you type it in, it'll do a search for you. So if you click on this, you will see free up here and you can install it from there. So once it is installed, if you go back to add-ons and select this and enable it in this sheet and you can see that it's working. And if we go back to our add-ons again and we say grade assignment. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to set up the points for your questions and your grading options. So it pulls you in your questions and you can see that the first question just identifies the student. The second question also identifies the student. The third question is a question, it's a test question and we can give this as many points as we wish and the second question is a test question. Let's say this is a more technical question so we'll give this question two points and we will continue. Now it's asking us to select the answer key so we know that the one named answer is our answer key so it's very easy to identify because we set it up that way and we're told then our grading is complete and you'll see a new sheet has opened with grade. Now what we have up here is we have a summary, we have the possible points, the average points, the counted submissions, the number of low scoring questions and so forth. And then we can see the actual individual answers and the points and the percentages. You can see then that we have email grade which isn't ticked, there's nothing happened to this. And then we have the questions and it shows the breakdown of what was right and what was wrong. So very very quickly there we have graded all of our tests. Now what we can do is we can actually email these to our students so we can go back to our app and we can go email grades and you see this is working. It will auto select a field for your email which just you need to verify is correct. Um, I'm not going to include the answer key because I'm going to say if you did not pass please re take and continue. And this will work and this will send an email then to your students or your learners and you'll see then that this updates and this updates to say that the grades have actually been sent. So that's how you use Google Forms combined with Google Sheets to create an auto-correcting quiz or assignment for your learners.